Sorry. So everybody, we are not in a jungle right now. We are actually in the children's We're not on snake of our either. church. <laughs> so when we sat down, Rick was acting like a monkey. So <laughs> no, he. She could... doesn't know how to keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I do too. No, but it was just funny because that's how that was the game. He played a lot with our kids. Yeah. And, well, you know, our kids aren't here tonight, so okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you, before we get started, we want to show you a little bit. Of, we're actually in the children's section of the church. This is in the hallway, not in the classroom. But we want to show you a little bit of that right now. So you can kind of see yeah, like that a, we're in it's a 3D. the hallway here. And you can see the different animals and everything in there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> there you go. And there's a monkey right there in that And tree, we have I sound see. effects. Okay. Okay, so we're All right. back. I'm trying to get back. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. sorry. Give us a second here. We're... There, there we, we go. go. Didn't she do a great job with it? <laughs> that was good. Okay, so our lesson for today is... Childlike wonder. So let me show you this picture real quick. I want you to see, let's see if we can get it without the glare. There we go. And I... I, we talked about this a little earlier because as a child, when I was telling Deb, I said, you know, I still have memories of a, a, of a child going outside and just looking up in the sky and standing in amazement and uh, at the awesomeness of God. And I didn't yes. even know God, but I just, you know, there was so much that I, I thought there's got to be a God and, and looking in the, at the stars and the wonder of that and the, 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 you know, the transparency of the child's yes. heart is such a gift from God. Maybe that's why he tells us that we have to become like children. Well, our scripture today, scriptures, is Matthew 18, 3 and 4 says, and he said, assuredly, I say to you, in other words, he's saying, I'm sure about this. I say to you, unless you are converted and become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So what is there about a child that's so important that God says unless we, or that Jesus tells us unless we become like a child that we're not going to enter? Well, first when he says converted, that means to turn around. It's a change. And when he says humble yourself, I like this because it means the condition of the heart. It's a low estimate of our, of our own importance. You know, not, and so humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. I like that. And so when we came to God and when he drew at our heart strings, that was the condition of our heart and we became humble. So that's the way, you know, he said, you can't come to me except that happens. Well, and the other thing you have to remember is childlike is not childish. Exactly. So, you know, he's not, you know, saying, okay, you don't need to be childish. He's saying be childlike. There's something about a child's heart that is filled with wonder. They, they still take time to chase butterflies there. They take time to stop and watch uh, geese fly south for the winter and, and just look up in the sky. And, and it's all amazing to them. And it's, it's so unique and, and special. Well, when he said childish, childlike but not childish think about the childish uh ways you know that what he's not talking about one of his one of it is like um that's not fair that's not fair or it's the more than me syndrome right like he got more than me you remember when we could just get one candy bar and you had to half it with your siblings yeah that's and, still the way it is yeah <laughs> but <laughs> it's like we wanted to make sure that our piece was just as big. Well, we had a common rule at the house. Whoever broke it in half, the other person got to choose the half they wanted. So if you were breaking it, you were making sure it was as even as you could possibly get it. So sometimes if we can be childish, I mean, even as adult, if, you know, when he says, in understanding, be men. In malice, be children. But in understanding, be men. So if it's so um, we never act childish. No, of course not. You know, like if we throw a fit, if we don't get our way, that's that's childish. Or like I don't want to. That's childish. So we all have to check ourselves, don't we? You know, I was thinking about how a baby does a baby just stop you? 
and you be you I mean you're drawn to that the wonder of a child and and you know when I see a little baby I just oh my eyes just draw right to that child I go up to him and say hi oh you're so sweet I start talking baby talk are oh, you good especially if they're real little do you and it doesn't matter where she's at no it folks. doesn't and I just and when they when I get a smile out of them oh it just melts my heart and I just keep I mean I keep wanting more but there's the, you know the the way that a child sees the world draws you in. If you take time to, like, I went over and saw our little granddaughter today, Vivian, and she was, you know, I, I brought her some donuts, and she said, oh, thank you, Papa. She's like, I love two donuts. Years old, I love donuts, I love donuts. And, and everything was just, you know, I, so wonderful. You know, we went to the trampoline to jump, and it was, she, she made me feel so special. And it's because they love without pretension. And they also see the world in a way that we don't. I remember Debbie uh, had her outside and she said, tell her about, tell them about Well, that. we were outside and I uh, accidentally, I almost stepped on a snake. It was a black snake. It was a king snake, which they're, you, know, you want them to be around. You know? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they, they kill the bad snake or the poisonous ones. But she saw that snake. She said, well, yeah, oh. but you, you go, oh, a snake. Man. Oh, a snake. And she said, oh, a snake? It's so beautiful. <laughs> she saw it completely different. And, uh, but, you know, I was thinking about, I love this story. We probably told it before, but I love it. And that's when Rick and I were in Wyoming. and We have told it before. <laughs> I want to tell it again. <laughs> yeah, so we were in a restaurant and... So we were talking, well, our daughter, well, we had been there. Landon was five was months three, old. He was three months old. No, he was five, five months, months. We, He was five months. He was born in January and we were there in May. So he was five months old and we had gone, Debbie and I had gone on vacation. We, we you know, at that point we seldom ever took a vacation. We went on vacation and we were in Yellowstone. And we were missing our grandbaby. And so Bethany's on the phone, our daughter's on the phone. And Debbie goes, let me talk to Landon. And I'm thinking, he's five months old. And I just wanted to hear him coo. So she starts in saying, whoa. He's a nana baby. He does not a baby. You know how we do? I and just I'm love telling it. you, I'm looking he at him. He was getting embarrassed. Going, Debbie, man, come on. We were in a restaurant and, and uh, I'm going, Honey, there are people that are in here. They're looking at you. That you I know, don't care. and she, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm sitting there shaking my head. I can't believe it. And I said, "You a dog to ball ball?" And so I handed him the phone. And what did you do? He <laughs> said, "Is that is that ball ball's boy?" <laughs> so you get lost in that. I mean, a child can bring you they in. They suck you into. The I room. remember when our daughter was. She was probably oh five months old, and I was in the uh, bedroom with her, just playing with her. I was teaching her, I was singing, Jesus loves me, this I know. And I was trying, I was moving her hands back and forth to teach her to, to clap. And she learned how to clap. And I was just so amazed. I was just so proud of her and amazed that I lost track of time. And I happened to turn my head and my, our floor looked real shiny. And what had happened is I, something happened to our washing machine and it started running over and it flooded our house. Well, I was playing Play with her. <laughs> well, I was playing patty cake. <laughs> but anyway, I got lost in the wonder of our child. And so um, the Bible says a child, well, a child shall lead them. And again, except we become as little children. What is it about a child? You guys help us out. What is it about a child that God wants us, Jesus wants us to become like? Why don't you just put one word up? about something about a child that, that makes he wants you, us to be like you know I, I think about the innocence of a child I think about the trust of a child I think about when and we're calling this what are we call it this childlike wonder yeah, so the wonder and that word just grabs my heart because I, I think it's you know to me it's a tragedy that as we grow older, sometimes if we're not careful, we lose the wonder. We, we forget the miracle of it all. We, we don't see things like a child sees things anymore. We, I understand we have responsibilities and you know, there are bills that have to be paid and there are things that have to be done. 
But I'm telling you, you don't want to lose the wonder that God puts in the heart of a child because that's what makes life worth living. It brings the joy of it to us. So they don't hold grudges. They don't hold grudges. Look, they can have a disagreement with one another and the next moment you see them hugging and playing. That's right. As a matter and of it, fact, Kendra just put up forgiving. And that's yeah, they're very forgiving. They, they don't have any worries. No worries. They don't worry about the, the um, next meal, when, you know, where their next meal is going to come from. They don't worry if they're going to get sick. You know, stop and think they about that. Trust. They trust. Um, because they trust that you're going to take care of them. They, they just, they're, they're just abandoned in, in that process, that thought process of, you know, it's going to be okay. They trust. That's it. Now, now let me say that. They do that if they feel loved. Yes. But if a child doesn't feel loved, then they become very fearful and they can withdraw. And so that's the thing about God is it's knowing that he loves us and that he cares for us and we're safe in his arms. Right. So in that trust, I thought of uh, Psalms 112 and 7 when he says, He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed trusting in the Lord. He's not worried about what's going to happen tomorrow, what's coming down the road. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. He laughs. I mean, a child laughs. They say... Someone just put up happiness. And yeah, so that's right. They happy. laugh. So, uh, you know, an average uh, child... No, that's not right. A child, on <laughs> average... <laughs> 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 They laugh 300 times a day, wow. an average of 300 wow. times a day. And where adults laugh uh, 20 or less, 20 times or less, you know, I mean, that's yeah. on the average, all right? So well, you're not average. <laughs> <laughs> no. So they have faith. They believe it will happen. When you, when you teach them about God, you teach them, you know, that, um, that, he, that there's nothing impossible with God. They just believe it. I'll never forget it. Uh, Little young uh, little girl in our church named Adeline, when she was four years old, um, I had done something to my shoulder, and I'm telling you, it was like a uh, rotator cuff or something, and I forgot what I did to it, but I was in a lot of pain, and I couldn't even lift up my arm. I could barely lift it up from my side, and she heard about it, and she asked her mom if she could come to church and pray, because you know we have a suite in the church. She wanted to come here and pray for me. This was on a Saturday. And do you know what? It was just so precious. Because it had been two weeks now and I was in a lot of pain with it. And she put her hand on my shoulder and she said, Jesus, touch her shoulder right now. And just a sweet little childlike innocent prayer. And she said, in Jesus' name, amen. Do you know what? That next day was Sunday, you know, and I was getting ready for church on my own and I wasn't even thinking about it. I said, oh, I showed her, I can lift up my hands. I had no pain. That's who you want to pray for you, right? Yeah. They just believe it. Yeah, it's just faith pure faith. Um, they love everybody. They love everybody. We can learn a lot from a child, and, can't we? You know, I just, what, it's from this on as I, I just opened Facebook to go to our page and I saw this, it was actually, you see that? Can you see two it? little boys. See that? Let me tell a story. Th these two little Please. boys are dressed alike. Well, their moms didn't know, their best friends. I can't remember what their names were now. Miles and Tanner. Tanner. This is Miles, this is Tanner. So Tanner wanted his, they were having a twin day at school and he said, he wanted his mom, he said, I have to have, the same outfit for my friend Miles because she because said why? She, she because said because we're, we're twins. twins. He said we look just alike. He said you know we're, we're twins and so not knowing who his friend was he, she goes out and she buys an outfit called I guess it got the size from uh, Miles' mother. She had to and, track down Miles' mom. And so Tanner takes the clothes to school the next day and Miles puts his clothes on and they come out and the, t p the teacher took this picture and sent it to them and when their mother saw it, her heart just melted because they were the same, there was no difference. I'm telling you, that's why Jesus said, except no you become as children. That's you, right. You know, I, I, I long for the day when 
we can love the way that Jesus loves. Look at this one. I hope you can see this good with our with the lighting. You see their haircuts. And so this He was, had to have his haircut just like his. And he said they were twins. And they said it's another set. they asked him why. He said, because we want to play a trick on the teacher. She said, when I get my hair cut just like his, she won't know, she won't be able to tell us apart because we look just like each other. Isn't that something? And it's I'm precious. telling you, but there's so much truth to that. In the eyes of God, we, we look like each other because we're supposed to look like him, made in the image of God. And I'm telling you that I, I have a dear friend, his name is Eddie. And he's not, he, he had to move away, but I miss him all the time. And he, I, I loved, we, we loved being around each other. And we were, you know, different colors, but we never saw color. All I saw was my brother. And I'm telling you that it's such a gift to be able to have a friend that is a real friend. I heard this saying one time and I loved it, grabbed a hold of it. And he said, um, I may not be skin to you, but I'm kin to you. You know, when we, through the blood of Jesus, and so there's no difference, you know, in God. But so, um, I like this one. I like this scripture when it says, Matthew 18 and 5, whoever receives one little child like this in my name receives me. Do you know what receive there means? To accept and to be amazed. To be amazed. Never lose that childlike wonder of God. Uh, a childlike wonder, it, it, it means anticipation and amazement. Never lose what God has given you. And I, there's a song, it's one of our favorites, and it's been out for quite a while, and it's called Revelation Song. And there's a line in that song that says, Filled with wonder, all struck wonder at mm -hmm. the mention of your name. We should never lose that wonder, that childlike wonder with God. You know, we, I was a uh, brother called today we were talking and he was commenting he watched the service online sunday and he said i'm enjoying my journey he said he, he remembered me talking about the importance of learning how to enjoy the journey and a lot of times if we're not careful we lose the wonder and we lose the ability to enjoy the journey That's right years ago and we'll close with this but years ago we were in arkansas and we took off i've told this but we took off in a jeep and Debbie said, hey man, let's take the top off the Jeep. So we pop the top off the Jeep and we go with our friends up into the mountains. We were preaching revival up there. And all of a sudden we're on the mountains, man, and Debbie's hair starts standing I up. I mean, literally standing up yeah, on like the and, and his wife's hair did. And he said, man, we got to get off this mountain. Lightning was about to strike and their heads were going to be lightning rods. And so we jumped in that Jeep and took off. And it opened up and I mean started pouring down rain. Now we're getting soaked. They're in the back and they got a blanket on and it's, you talk about being a wet blanket. They were, they, it was a, I mean a blanket was soaking wet. I've got my face pushed up against the windshield trying to keep from all that rain hitting me in the face. It's raining so hard yeah. that people have pulled off the road. Because they can't see. Because they can't see where they're going. And we get in and I'm thinking, man whose idea was this you know and, I, and we get we get to the house that i'm thinking about you know i've got to get ready and got to preach and then all of a sudden it hit me that there's a passage where jesus told his disciples and when he they were bickering about who would be the greatest and he reached out and he got yeah, a child yeah. and he brought that child and, and said into the midst of them and he said except you become like this child you can't enter the kingdom of heaven and then the Lord spoke to my spirit, a child in our midst, that God has put a child right in here. Now, when it comes to understanding, we don't need to be childish. When it comes to faith, we ought to be childlike. Yes. And to be able to believe him and not worry and not fear. And when you allow that child to live inside of you yes. and reach out and touch God, I'm telling you, that you're going to experience really? life in a way that will amaze you. I want to pray for you tonight. Can we do it? Father, I thank, thank you, you for the child that's in our midst that you've placed in our heart. I pray, Father, that that child will reach out to you, God, with no fear, God, and with excitement and anticipation and expectation. 
Father, I pray, Lord, that you help us, God, to let go of things that keep holding us down and cause us to come back to the wonder of you. Yes, Jesus. God, it really is amazing grace. And we're thankful for it. We praise you for all that you do for us and help us, God, to still see the miracle of a butterfly. God, a sunset and the stars shining. Help us, Father, to be able to see you in all those things and to know that you care for us you're and you're going to take us. care of us yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Love yes. you guys. Amen. Have a great evening. We'll talk Love to you, you. later. Bye-bye.